These faces are just a fraction of the countless domestic violence victims, most women who died at the hands of their partners. Nearly all had a history of domestic abuse, like Bonnie Mob's daughter, Chelsea. And for all these families in one, one person a week, how many more does it need to take before someone actually stands, like actually the government or anyone just, you know, to change them? The murder of Teresa Bradford by her estranged husband David while he was on bail has spurred the government into action. She will be looking at the, the onus of proof when it comes to bail matters. The Attorney General will review domestic violence bail laws, particularly for the charge of strangulation. It means alleged offenders would stay locked up unless they can prove why they should be let out on bail, opposite to what it is now. The move is being welcomed by victims' families. Sonia Anderson's daughter, Bianca, was killed by her boyfriend. It's absolutely the right thing to do. The perpetrator has to prove that they have the right to be out in society. John Gaskell's father murdered his mother. It seems as though it's way too easy to get out on bail and it shouldn't be that way. The LNP is promising to get even tougher. And we need to lock these bastards away. But the lawyer who got David Bradford bail says that wouldn't have mattered. He would have gotten bail on any sort of reverse onus test that might apply, in my view. Makes them appear guilty before they've even been before a court. The shake-up will also look at making it mandatory for domestic violence victims in Queensland to be notified if their alleged perpetrator is going to be granted bail. It comes as new details of Teresa Bradford's murder emerge. Her former partner broke in through a window in one of their children's bedrooms with a tomahawk, killing the 40-year-old in her bedroom. Tessa Hardy, Nine News.